So what do we got here? So this is a 1942 Casablanca poster. You don't get more iconic than Casablanca. I know, it's great, but I just want to get the cash for it. You don't it's have a 20,000 square foot house with a theater that you need to decorate these? It's only a 19,000 square foot house, <laughs> so I just have no room for it. <laughs> I'm here with a 1942 Casablanca movie poster. It's a pretty rare poster. I think there's 50, 60, something like that. I'd like to buy a new Range Rover that I've been looking at, and this will allow me to do that. It's one of those movies that even not seeing it, I know what it's about. Right. It's definitely like golden age Hollywood, you know, Humphrey Bogart. One thing most people don't know is that the line, here's looking at you, kid, was actually improvised by Humphrey Bogart. And of course, everybody knows Rick's Cafe. Surrounded by the Nazis, and it was just like a little, like, sanctuary. Right. One of the running jokes I have with my dad is he's always asked me every year for his birthday a Rick's Cafe sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I never got it for him because he didn't deserve it. <laughs> his head's already big enough. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about it and how you got it. What's the whole story here? I'm a designer, and I accepted it in lieu of payment. I knew it was worth a lot. I did a little research before I accepted it. It looks like it's in great condition. It's in great condition, It's in yeah. such good condition, it makes me a little nervous, especially since these were movie posters. This wasn't something that was built to be framed and hung on a wall. This was hung in a movie theater and generally thrown away. There's almost nothing wrong with it except for, I mean, there's a couple creases, but it's 70 years old. Right. How much are you looking to get out of it? I'm looking to get around 120000 for it. <sighs> so... Like I said, I got a few concerns. I mean, it looks like it's almost too good to be true. Yeah, I get it. Do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and check it out? Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, it, it's so good, it almost looks like a replica to me. Right. Yeah, but that would be fine. I'll be right back, and I'll uh, see if I can get him down here, okay? Okay, thank you. I don't think it's a fake, because who I tamed it from is very reputable. That's why I took it in the first place. And I'm extremely confident it's everything that um, I think it is. So what have we got here? It's like the Stradivarius of movie posters. <laughs> this is Casablanca. Here's looking at you, kid. This is a big deal. I mean, this is a beautiful poster. This movie is always at the top of the list of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, so this poster, if it's authentic, is going to be a very big deal. There's probably anywhere from 50 to 60 of these in the world. So it's quite rare, and it's the crown jewel in any movie poster collector's collection. I mean, everyone I've ever seen has been fake. Well. <laughs> this could be fake. I mean, there are a lot of fakes out there. I mean, I get a lot of fakes in our shop all the time. So, I mean, unless we take a really close look at it, I mean, you never know. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's take a measurement. It should be 27 by 41 or approximately 27 okay. by 41. And you can see uh, it's just about 41 tall, and it's probably just about 27 wide, which is true. Yep. But let me just look at the quality of the printing. And you can see that it does have the original National Screen Service paragraph. It's got fold lines. So is it real? Yes, this is a real one sheet. This is an authentic <laughs> poster from yeah. 1942. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a fantastic poster. All right. What's it worth? Anything from Casablanca has been on fire lately. An Italian poster just sold for roughly 200000 But if this were auctioned today, I think this would probably sell for anywhere near $100,000 and up. Great. All right, well, I appreciate it. OK, well, good luck. You got a pretty expensive poster. Yeah, that's what I thought. Legitimately, I'd probably get 70 for it. Mm -hmm. I could probably offer you about 40. No, I can't take 40. Um, I'm thinking closer to 100. It would have to sell for quite a bit to get that. I think maybe 60 would be as most as I can go. The expert said it was worth 100. He did, but say at $100,000, I put it in an auction and it sells for that. Right. I'm going to have to pay $30,000 to the auction house, mm -hmm. uh, which leaves me at 70. You know, I can offer you 60. I got to make at least 10 grand on it. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. I think I'm just going to keep it. All right. Well, I'm here if you change your mind. All right. Thanks. Thank you. I think I'm just going to hold on to it, roll the dice, and see what I can do at auction myself, either now or a few years from now. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95, and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.